But uh, first, Rob, we're going to get to this, and I know you've been dying to get get at this. You wrote a column uh, a few days ago on Deadspin.com about the Rooney Rule. You've called it the the, the proposed pro, the proposals that they uh, the NFL made to to the Rooney Rule. Right. Which I called the Looney Rule. Right. You called it the Looney Rule. And today they tabled it. So they're not going to try to push that forward. It was essentially if a team hired a black or minority coach or uh, GM, they would get draft incentives. You would get a better draft pick in like the third or fourth round. So that was essentially it. But but go ahead and and give us your take on this and then I'll weigh in. Yeah. Just... Even the NFL, Chris, who has had so many blunders in the Roger Goodell era as commissioner, just not knowing how to do stuff, put stuff out there, the NFL always seems to wind up with egg on its face. And here was another opportunity. Just like, like the, the, did they really think whoever was at the table, whoever came up with this idea that you're going to belittle and demean and insult black people to, to say, we have to bribe uh, white people to hire black people to work in the front office, because that's the way I looked at it. And, and there were some. I told you, Jay Williams from ESPN, he kind of came at me about the, the whole idea and that uh, maybe I was crazy or whatever. But, uh, no, I think the NFL got it because they got enough pushback from enough smart people who realized – this ain't no fair situation to put a coach or a general manager with this attached to them. It's a stigma. He got the job because of because uh, Tampa Bay or because Jacksonville needed a higher draft pick. That's the only reason he got a job. How in the world could that ever fly? How in the world would anybody want to come under come in under those circumstances? And then you'd have to hold on to him at least two years because it because otherwise you'd lose your chance at moving up. I mean, the whole concept was, was cockamamie. It was silly. It was embarrassing. It was demeaning. We're better than that. We didn't just join the NFL, and we don't know what we're doing. We play football, black people. We know football. It's our business. We're 70% of the NFL. Look around. How dare you think we only have one uh, meaningful purpose in football, and that's to play it. We can coach it. We can put together teams. How dare you? It's ridiculous. It's pure racism and nepotism that have kept black people from from achieving their dreams after they've stopped playing. I just don't get it. Don't you want to win? Don't you want to win? We don't want a handout. We don't want charity. How about an opportunity? The only reason we're on the field is because you want to win. Otherwise, the league would be 70% white. You could do that. You can make that choice. Why won't you make that choice and make the league 70% white? Because you want to win. How dare you not think we're smart enough to run a team or to be a damn football coach? We know football. Chris, it's our game. I, I think that, first of all, I, I talked to some pe- or a person, you know, somewhat with some inside information on this. And this was the NFL's competition committee that helped put this together, this proposal. And there's some big names on that competition committee. Some some names I respect. Ozzie Newsom, uh, the GM of the, you know, former GM of the Ravens, Mike Tomlin, John Elway, Sean Payton, Ron Rivera, Stephen Jones, Rich McKay, president of the Falcons, John Mara, owner of the Giants, and uh Mark Murphy, uh, president of the Packers. And I I where I disagree with you, Rob, I, I agree that. In an ideal world, in a country where there had never been historic racism and where there wasn't contemporary racism going on today, of course, you don't want to have to incentivize anybody to hire a minority coach. But the fact is that that's not the world we live in. 
And where I disagree with you is that I'm surprised you are saying it is disrespectful and insulting to black people. I don't see an implication in this that black coaches or minority coaches aren't good enough to coach. What I think this is really an indictment on ownership in the NFL. This is not a statement or an indictment on minority coaches. This is a statement and an indictment on the white ownership of the NFL. That the only way they've proven that for the most part, they are not going to hire minority people to run their organization, whether it's the head coach to run the football team or the GM to run the operations. For the most part, not totally, they've proved some of them, most of them have proven that. And so this was in a this what what it is is really sad that in 2020, the only way you can get the owners in the NFL to hire people based on merit and qualifications is to incentivize them. And that the, where, where it feels, you know, uh, 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 bad to people, for lack of a better word, is when because the incentives are on the field. Like, draft picks could affect, that helps your team. I think if you're going, maybe an incentivize, and I think they're, they're tabling it, but they're going to continue to try to work on it. Um, I think perhaps... An incentive could be that you get a larger share of the uh, revenue sharing if you have a minority GM or head coach. That doesn't impact you getting better players, but it does incentivize you to hire minorities. And and I, I agree, Rob, in an ideal world, that wouldn't be necessary. But we have more than an ample amount of proof that that is the only way that some people are going to hire minorities. Heck, that's, that's what we've done to try to bridge the racial gap to some degree. There are tax incentives if you invest in a minority-owned business. There are tax breaks if you hire minorities, you know, to, to supply your materials for your company and things like that. You know, some most cities or many cities and states have a rule that a certain percentage of the contractors you hire for construction and things like that have to be from minority or women-led companies, female-led companies. This is because if you don't put these incentives in, it's been proven that white leadership, not all of it, but some of them will not hire the minorities, whether it's in business or whether it's in sports. And we've talked about it. The reason, you know, in the NFL or basketball, baseball, whatever it is, on the field is subjective. So you, can, you can't deny a black person or a Hispanic or Asian a job on the team because it's clear he was good enough. He was better than this guy or that guy. But in the front office, in head coaching, in corporate America, so much of it is subjective. And that's where African-Americans and other racial minorities have been hurt. So I don't, I don't look at it as, I mean, heck, let's just keep it real. Unfortunately, it's not right. It's not fair. It definitely ain't of God. But black skin has a stigma already in this country. Every, I guarantee you, Rob, when you got hired as the first black columnist in Detroit, there were a lot of white people that thought you just got it because you were black. But they could say I just got it because and same I was with black. But, but, the and other people. Is, but the difference is, I went to school. I did my, oh, my you studying. You got black coaches I, that are but qualified. That's fine. But, but if you hire my point. the enemy, ain't nobody going to say he ain't this qualified. Is, but this is but they my behind point. his back, they might say he don't I, deserve it. I, but, but saying you don't deserve You're it is something else. You're not the only one that's else. qualified. There's that, plenty of that, black coaches qualified. That, that ain't, that's not what I'm talking about. And, and we could agree to disagree because getting a tax break, when you talk about public money and, and m municipalities, where you have cities that are 90% black and, and, and the contractors are 90% black. Detroit. It's not 90. 
It's not 85. At, at height, it was and the, in point, the 70s. And the point is that they don't they weren't dealing with black contractors and right. giving contracts. See, what's that's, the difference? Wait a minute. The because that's public money. That's public money. This is about, Chris, owners who... Right. This is what it's about the owners. Why are you blaming you, the co black coaches? No, I'm it's blaming... It's about the, the owners. No, no. I'm blaming that the black NFL people shouldn't even feel put insulted this out by there. this. It's, it's the it white is owners who are the, it is insulting, insulting too. That they, it is insulting that you have to talk about you, you got to give the guy a coupon or a cookie to hire me. They That's ain't going to hire you unless they That's get BS. it. That's BS. They have really? hired people. Yes. Jerry uh, Reese uh, won uh, two uh, Super Bowls full? as a GM. He did. Right. They hired him. They don't oh, need this, Chris. A couple will get hired. They don't need this. Well, then why Hold are these there guys only four accountable. Black coaches? Then why Hold are there these only guys four accountable. Black Hold How? these guys accountable. How? So what should they do? They should they should expose them. They should do, take a look at their do? hiring practices. The same they, way they do they? anybody. Who's and they? they? Should, the NFL. And they should grade these teams and show what the numbers are and tell us how they haven't hired a black person they, in eight years. Are they going to take the ownership That's what they them? should do. Are they going to take the ownership If they have to, if they right, have to. Now you're talking. All right? If they have to, if you don't comply. But that's an And if you don't have too. diversity, then we have an issue with you. Yes. That's an incentive. I agree with it you. It ain't this, about no this uh, giving incentive, somebody a cookie. This in, first of all, stop comparing it to a cookie because this that's ain't a cookie. That's what it is to me. This is that's a what job. I say it is. This is no a job. job. And many African Americans have gotten jobs like, if heck, forget African Americans. You're, you're acting like many white people didn't get jobs they didn't deserve just because they only considered whites. We talked about Todd Haley, who would play golf in college. Why did, did he get did his they, job? Did they give the Kansas City Chiefs an extra pick for, for picking Todd Haley as this coach, is, Chris? Let, no, they did not. Rob, Don't even compare it as the same thing. Todd Haley. That's nepotism. They, they, that's nepotism. They don't allow black people to, to practice nepotism. Nep right. That's what you're the problem is. You're absolutely right. Nepotism is why some of these people get hired. And you said you're putting a stigma on the black coach. First of all, in many cases, the stigma's already going to be there, no matter how qualified he is, in some white people's eyes. And Ty Haley, you got people talking behind his back. You and I said it on the air. This dude wasn't qualified. He's a golfer. Do you think he cared? He went in there, he took the job. When and I he said, I'm going to make the best When I see a black coach who never played football in college and he, and he was a golf player, uh, 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 play golf. You're making and he, my and point. And he makes it. When, when, he, when that guy gets a job, you talk to me. And You're that's making nepotism. my point. No, I'm You're not making, making your point. point. I disagree with you, Chris. I want no part of this. This is why they shelved it. You just named all those people who were on the committee. If they were so confident in what they sat down and put up, why didn't they vote on the resolution today? Because they know it's wrong. It's, I it's, it's, Rob, they know it's I, wrong. I agree that the way they went about it, like I said, with draft picks, with something on the field, that doesn't feel right. But I'm not against incentives. This is essentially some form of affirmative action, some form of reparations. When what, How about all the coaches, and for those that will say it's unfair, how about all the black coaches that didn't even get considered Chris, for jobs you, in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s? Let me finish. Let me finish. You've been, you finish. Guys, you guys you've been yelling. You've been screaming. Let me finish. The 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, that weren't even considered for jobs. All the white coaches that got the jobs, heck, the whites that own the teams, that run the franchises because they wouldn't consider other people. That's a handout. That's a handout. And you expect me to be upset? And it's better if the ends may justify the means. Now, again, I don't like it when it's on the field. But if it has to be some type of incentive off of it to get some of these owners to do the right thing, then so be it. No, hold if them gotta, accountable. If they got to pay. Hold them accountable. You, you can hold. I, I'm not against that, of course. That's hold them accountable. That's how you get it done. But and the it. players have to hold them accountable. Don't go to those franchises. Right, go. Mark, go. Go as all, a free you, agent. And you, you remember when? You remember well, when? Uh, you always tell me it's not the player's job. When it comes to salary and the salary cap, it's not the player's job to worry I'm about that. I'm talking about why, why would you go work somewhere where there's no opportunity? Why, why would you go anywhere where there's no opportunity for me? If I go to a, a place 
and and they don't uh they don't appreciate or have black people in their front office or hire black people post playing career you need to take a look at it and all i'm saying is that's how you get these owners out of there when nobody you wants to come these to their owners team. out of there you can you can get people to sell good l- well look i love you i've can. talked about it i love the players to you get together and the do same some way stuff. they got Donald but Sterling they, out of the they NBA. Shown they gonna do it can that? happen. Donald the same Sterling way. was recorded saying blatantly no racist Chris, stuff. No matter he he had been had been sued in L.A. for years about discrimination. David Stern and the league turned their back. They never even did anything. When that you wasn't get, new. When you, if you get that wasn't NFL, new. If you get an NFL owner on tape, in fact, it happened with some network, uh, the Carolina owner, for sexual harassment. That's similar to the Donald Sterling situation. Look, I don't disagree with you in that. I didn't like the what, like the draft picks and all that. What I am saying, though, is white coaches and executives have been getting handouts, been getting hired when they weren't qualified, been getting hired because they wouldn't consider people of other races for decades. They and so us, uh, they it, want it, us it, to it, be it, a... A dog and pony show. Go dog on the, in, what's this go guy on the a interview. Dog and pony go show. on the interview, even though there's no job. Just come by and so say would hello. You rather Let us just talk to you. It's a coaches? dog and pony show, and that's what you they want to do with black, black people. Coaches? I'm not going on an interview if there's no job available for me. I want to go well, and compete how do you for the know, job. Rob? How do you know? Because you already know. Because it happened in, in Detroit. With Matt Miller, he hired Steve Mariucci, and they wanted to interview black coaches, even though everybody after, at the Super yeah, Bowl knew after, that Mariucci but had the case, job. In every case that doesn't would happen, go? in every case that doesn't happen, I agree with that. If I know somebody else got the job, I'm not going. But in other cases, you don't know if you're getting the job or not. So I, I'm just saying that if it takes incentives, not the ones they propose, but if it takes incentives, to get these owners to do right, even if you do keep checks and balances on them. You can keep checks and balances. That still doesn't mean they're going to do the right thing. If it takes incentives, different types, then so be it. That's been how we've tried to bridge this racial gap in every field of endeavor in America. Let's see what you guys think. 877-99 on Fox. 877-996-63. 69, what do you think? Where do you stand? Should minorities be offended by the NFL's proposed Rooney Rule resolutions? Marcel in Mississippi, you're on the iCouple Fox Sports Radio. What's up? Hey, what's going on, Chris and Rob? Good show, what's man. What's up, brother? I wish I, I wish I was on TV, man, when y'all going at it. I, I feel bad for Rob Mike, man. But anyway, <laughs> uh, with the players, man, it's 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 2020, man. Like we we good enough to get our heads and bodies beat in, but not good enough to use our brains in the front office. Like it's bad that I remember seeing a, a a photo like some years ago, man, about you know how it looked like modern day slavery with the draft, the players getting measured, man, and you know how big they are, how much they can run, how fast right. they can run, how much they can lift. Like it's it's sad, man. Like you got to get a milk and cookie, like to a you know a black coach when he get in a in the office, man. Like come on. I ain't buying it. No, Thanks, it, Marcel. It's sad. Appreciate it's a it. sad commentary on ownership in the NFL. That's Joseph in is. Virginia, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Good evening, fellas. How are you? What's Rob, up, I, I, I understand from the standpoint of it being like another quote-unquote token system, if you will, but the way that I kind of look at it is this was incentives for initiative, if you will. They're, they're, they're kind of paying these teams extra for, for taking that initiative for doing what's right. I think this is more of a message from the NFL about the owners. Why'd they show being, me today? Being that they had to step in and, and put this rule in. Why'd they show, show for today, Joseph? What do you well, think? I, I, don't, I believe that the terms aren't adequate enough, if you ask me. I don't think they're good enough. Um, I think that... It, that's why it was so upsetting is because, I mean, come on, third round, second round. I mean, if it was a first round, maybe we're talking. So you but think it should round, be better than that? Yeah, they should sweeten the deal. I yeah. had an, I had issues with it being stuff that's going to impact your team on the field. Like I said, maybe it could be salary, you know, more per, higher percentage of the uh, revenue sharing or something like that. But, look, a lot of these, they've proven – they they not gonna hire for the most part based on merit and and uh, qualifications. 
Justin in Tucson, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, guys, love the show. I think you guys Thank are great. You. Rob, I, I agree with you for the most part, Rob. I think that uh, that it's kind of insulting. I'm a, I'm a Mexican-American man. I'm an Ivy League educated. I'm an attorney. Uh, and, you know, you got to work harder in this world when you have a different colored skin. That said, I think there's some, some merit to be said to democratizing the process and having the players have a voice in choosing the um, choosing the candidates. If you put, uh, if you, if there were the collective bargaining, why not they put a provision that in any coaching opening, our team can vote on a candidate that has to be interviewed. Now you put pressure on the owner to say, hey, these are my players. This is what we want yes. to have you do for us. And you know you're going to get some viable minority candidates that way. No, I like that. I don't have a. That's it's, not it's a, it's bad. A way, but it's a way of it's a way of players having to say. It's the same way that uh, you you can do. I I, I you got to be that. careful though about letting players choose a coach. That's no. They, he didn't say choose the coach. That. He said to be interviewed. That's what he said. He didn't say yeah. to, to pick the coach. He said people that they would be interested in playing for. Yeah. So so there yeah. would be black names in that, and then and then you'd have to do that and figure it out. 